Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome back to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Vapor Eagle today. I wanted to play something that I've seen very, very often recently on the battlefield, and I just wanted to check it out myself. We are playing the Vapor Eagle with triple PPCs. That thing is actually quite interesting to play, and it's a lot of fun on the battlefield, and it can dish out quite a good chunk of damage. Now you would say, three PPCs on a Meteor Mag, isn't that a bit crazy? And I would say, yes it is, but it's also kind of viable. Let me take a look at this thing here. So, first of all, we have... Uh, the Vapor Eagle 1 that has a bunch of energy hard points and we are utilizing all of them in the side torsos because we have to strip down the arms in order to get the weight that we want to. So yeah, the, the arms are not really good shields here, but uh, again, there are also no weapons in there, so we can easily lose them. If you're not feeling comfortable with only 11 armor on the arms, you could also strip down a bit of leg armor, maybe down to like 55 and add the remaining points to the arms there. And as you can see, we are running three PPCs, uh, two in the right side torso, one on the left side torso. Be advised though, Shooting more than two at the same time will generate so much heat that you will get a massive heat spike. But at the same time, you can do it. You can do it once if you are completely cold. So whenever you just want to take that snapshot, because you know that you have a big cooldown period afterwards anyway, then just go for the triple PPC, because it deals 30 damage pinpoint and then 15 damage splash on top of that. And that's super cool. We are running an XL Engine 280 for quick switches on flanks. We are running 82 kph. Of course, we have jump jets, two of them here, and I'm also using a targeting computer for a bit of a better zoom boost, as well as 5% more projectile speed. And uh, yeah, that makes so that you don't have to lead your shots so much and you can be uh, quite easy with the targeting here. This is a very interesting mech again and uh, we have 20 heat sinks to keep the mech cold. Um be advised, watch your heat, heat gauge, because sometimes you will actually be uh, quite high on that and then you have to actually, again, reposition, cool down a bit and then continue going. So, we also have some skills, we're gonna take a look at them as well. And as you can see, I was going down the firepower tree so I can snatch a bunch of heat gen nodes since we are all big energy weapons and that means we will heat up the mech quite a lot and this here will help us not do that so much. We have two heat gen nodes here, we have two here and then three more here. So that's seven already on the left side and it's kind of the same on the right side. It's here, two here, then there's one here and then two here. So it's only five on the right side. So if you go down here, go to the left side first and then skill out the right side later. Also gives us a bit of cooldown and honestly, this cooldown node is honestly maybe debatable. You can take that out and either add it to more velocity um, because again, velocity is pretty good. We also get velocity nodes here and here, so that's nice. Or you can invest into something else here, maybe shock absorbance, skeletal density, the last missing point on the survivability tree. We also have maxed out our cool run and our heat containment since again, big energy build, we need that in order to perform well. And then rated deprivation for great pop tart security, which means we're gonna jump out of cover, we're gonna shoot our projectiles and while they are flying and hopefully connecting to our enemy's armor, we are falling back to safety and then as a result also break locks that the enemies had on us while we were in the sky. So that's really nice to have. We also go for double cool shot. I'm also going for a UAV to help out the team with a bit of vision and that's kind of the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that then smash that like button, subscribe for more daily content and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the, <laughs> the Caustic Valley. It's gonna be hard here, guys. We are playing the Caustic Valley. We are playing Domination. And I think I want to go straight to the center. Maybe we can shoot through the gap in the center here and see if we can, you know, find somebody who our PPCs are gonna kill. That is the plan here. So we can Alpha Strike once, by the way. So if we want to, we can get that out and then have to cool down for a long time, though. But let's see if we want to have, like, a longer engagement or if we just briefly shoot somebody and then pull back. So. So this is our gap. I'm gonna wait for somebody to poke. I hope that somebody's showing up. And it seems that my people are orientating themselves to the right. And that's the best song ever. <laughs> it's the song of NASCAR. See, that's what I mean. Then Alpha Strike, hit him. And uh, now we have to cool down. Seems like we are, yeah, we are already getting into a NASCAR position here. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. So, jump jets, we are cold again. Let's go. And another Alpha Strike out. Ideally, I mean, that's that's gonna be a little bit of a long shot. Ideally, we would hit somebody in the head with that because that's 45 damage. Um, and not many people can actually withstand that. Okay, so far so good. Got a bit of damage on the Dragon. Wow, that NASCAR! Look at that. And that's a component destroyed. Love it. Alright, so big, big, big artillery coming down. Uh, that's, that's too much. Oh boy, oh boy. I thought I had half a second between the shots, but I didn't. So... Yeah, I gotta deal with the consequences now. Another shot at... My god, this NASCAR! Could we please stop it? Wow! Holy macaroni! 
That is so much. Okay, we're gonna use the jets. Oh, there's a guy. There are a bunch of guys coming. All right. Um, enemies danger close. Lots of them. Here's the thunderbolt that I hit earlier. Yeah, that was a miss, a big miss. And yeah, we are kind of trying to rotate now in, into our friends, uh, into our enemies. I don't know. We certainly have a dragon again. I gotta be careful with my left arm because there's an actual heatsink in there that I want to keep. All right. Uh, <laughs> somebody was above me. I was trying to, I was trying to jump. And um, I couldn't because somebody was there right above me. I jumped into him and uh, that's what happened. So here's the dragon again. Another shot out. Let's try to take him. That was a bad shot. We got him. So XL on the drag. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Definitely worth the cool shot. And um, at this point, I don't know how conservative we have to be, but it looks like ah, looks like we miss. That's what we what we are doing here. Looks like my armor is already pretty much damaged. Anyway, uh, people are pushing. Let's stay ahead of the curve here. That could have been bad. Okay, good. That's safe. We can take that side and keep shooting. What about that guy? He wants to get away from us, but we are again overheating. Damage to the leg. It's kind of important though. So let's keep it up. So a bit of cooldown period now. Cooldown and a cooling at the same time. Enemies behind us. Crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not great, guys. Not great at all. Ugh. This is so messy. This is so messy. Everybody is trying to get away from the push that's happening right now. They also have a UAV up. So here we are in the cauldron, in the in the big, big caldera. Okay, let me wait for one. Mm-hmm. Good. And my this rotation is crazy, guys. I I don't want to have anything to do with it, but I have to keep it up. Look at that. Everybody is kind of trying to get into position here. There is a Shadow Kitten coming in. Okay, regular vision again. Three and four. What is that game? I cannot believe that. Holy crap, look at that. People are everywhere. Mm, that was a miss. Enemies are right behind me now. I gotta defend myself. Could we? We could. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, man. How are you? Oh, boy. Can we take that side? The side is taken already. Let's take the other one. Ah, four and four. I want to get some distance between me and my foes. And uh, I also want cover. Oh, that's another guy. Oh, boy. Get that. That's, that's us down now. Oh, is it though? We're still alive for some weird reason. Hmm, bad shot. This is where... Yeah, this is... This is it. Oh, what a crazy rotation is going on today. Did you see that? I really wanted to chill somewhere in the outskirts and shoot into the fights, but I was constantly forced to move. What is that? Come on, guys. Give him hell. Oh, boy. You're too close. Yeah, no. Come on. Shoot your weapons. There we go. Good. Eight and nine. I think this is still very much doable, but it really depends on where my people are going, where the enemies are coming from. You gotta shoot your weapons! Come on, Marion! If you wanna win, click that left mouse button. Oh, uh, man. They also have a uh, dervish here with rocket launchers and pulse lasers. Oh, God. Jan is down. It's a, still an 8 and 9 situation. This Uziel still has good, good chunks of damage at its disposal. And it's getting the kill. 9 and 9 now. Let me go to the Vapor Eagle again. Wanna see what he is doing. 10 and 9. Looking strong. Oh boy. Fire! Yeah! No, still too close. Yeah, the dervish is kind of going crazy on this Vapor Eagle. So he cannot really do anything right now because he's constantly under pressure, not being able to fire any kind of weapon because ATMs have a dead zone of 120 meters. If you're closer than that, you're not dealing any damage. So let's go over to Mr. SRM. Jan is overheating again. Whatever, whenever I'm going to that guy, he's just shut down. Uziel, do it. We can't go for it. Win the game. What a crazy fight. That was a very good laser burn, by the way. And down goes the dervish. Wow. That was insane. That was so, so insane. I haven't had a game uh, like that in ages. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, let's see. We had one killing blow. We got 10 assists. We got two kill most damage dealt, 721 damage done, 529 taken, and nine components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. 
All right, second game of the day. Let's play. We are playing the, what's that, Frozen City Classic Night. And I think I want to get over here, helping out my assault max a bit and uh, getting into the Bravo 4 area because our enemies are coming over here, either from the dropship or from the Charlie 4 line. And that means I can maybe suppress our enemies while they are trying to uh, desperately getting into position to snatch our assault max. Like that. And I'm just gonna get away from this. Hey, Warhawk, how you like PPCs, huh? <laughs> you have some too? I see. Good. So, uh, this is how it feels to be on the receiving end. And we're gonna also pepper the Atlas, which is great because he is running... Actually, he's running a long-range build. A Gauss build on an Atlas. So, let's make sure that we are not getting here too much. Okay. Too much! Uh, I think our suppression actually kind of worked. Ooh, that was a miss. All right, all right, all right. We hit one of the three PPCs here. Let's go ahead and jump Pop Tart a bit. And uh, just keep shooting that Stalker. Let's also spot him because that's that's good. That's always good. Uh, cool shot, definitely worth it here. I want to get the Stalker out of the game and just mess him up. As well as the Atlas, who's just standing there so nicely. Great. So, what's going on here, huh? There's back shots that we can take against the Roughneck. That's actually not a back shot. Over right and yeah, that's okay. I wanted that side to also so bad. Um, I think it was worth it, honestly. I was deliberately taking that overheat damage here, but uh, okay, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't enough. So let's go. Oh, that's bad. That's the stalker again. Hey man, you know what? We we'll, we can trade easily. I have better. Wow, that was bad. Better range than you. There we go. Component destroyed. I like it. This mech is pretty cool, man. There's a stalker again, but you know what? I'm gonna stay here. Especially against the backliners there. Just intimidating them, because that's what we need in order to win the game. Here is a, a thing. Okay, cool shot, because we can, and we should. Ah, alright, that's too much. Ooh, good shot there. And this is kind of my, my perfect position right now. Oh, that's that's a laser that's a laser hunchback. Okay, so. Now we have been spotted and the team is kind of going somewhere else. We have still some enemy assault mechs here on the right side. Let's see if we can kind of find them. Um, found them. Ah, not good. That is, uh, that was not great, guys. Let's go for it again. It's a stalker. We, we hit him once more. One of the large laser wrecks is already gone. So let's make it two. Ah, we have a, we have a peeker behind us. He probably thinks that he is not spotted, but maybe uh, he's repositioning. Good positioning. Ah, yeah, there he is. It's probably not possible for me now. Okay, we're gonna focus on Mr. Atlas there. So, where to, guys? Where to? Um, it's really hard to read the team, actually. Uh, there's no real back and forth. Back or forth. Don't want to brawl with that guy, really. Oops. No, wait. No, I... Oh, no, I... Mm, I hit you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Didn't want to. Did it anyway. Hit him. And the Atlas. Yeah, we can we can try to help out here. Killing that Atlas guy. Center torso, ideally. Uh, and down he goes. He was XL. All right, good to know. What's that? Where's the enemy? All right, we hit the enemy, I think. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. All right, that's a hit. And I think this is eight and two. We are just going for it. Whoa! What? Did you see that? Come on. <laughs> oh, did you see that? I think my, my shot went right through him. No hit registration whatsoever. So, the Fract is dead. And there's another guy. Yeah. Very, very long shot. Oh, wait a second. Where is our sniper Pika backstabber here? That thing is somewhere. Still probably trying to shoot his large lasers into our backs. Um, I want to try to see if I can find him. He, he has to be still around in the Bravo 4 area. And I don't know what it was, actually. It might have been a raven because I couldn't lock onto him. And he was running, I think, two large lasers, something like that. So it's not a flea. And I expected him to be still around here. Um, nice job, guys. That was a very good job. Oh, man, I wonder how much team damage I dealt. Ooh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, I saw somebody earlier with two large lasers. I think a raven or a flea or something. Raven, last spot, Charlie 3 on the sea. Copy that. So, Charlie 3, you say? Oh, Delta 4, you say? Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's go. Let's see if we can actually hit him. And we hit him. 
And again. And again. Nope. That's a hit, though. Uh, cannot get. No angle. Oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Even hit that side also. And we got our kill in the end. Yay. So, well done, team. That was glorious. That was really good. So, let's take a look at what we did here. We have 64% still left on our mech. And, yeah, we got a killing blow. 10 assists, 3 kill, most damage dealt. 792 damage done. 213 taken. Sorry for the team damage. Again, I'm really sorry. We also destroyed 4 components. And that, my friends, is your daily dose for today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, by the way, don't forget to smash that like button. Follow the channel. If you haven't already, guys, you can get daily videos here. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.